the look of that. Tonight you're gonna be falling asleep watching Fritz Weiss build my N1 Starfighter for me and Grogu. This is the way. And welcome to tonight's ASMR video where we're gonna be making you fall asleep with quite possibly one of the best, most amazing looking Lego sets that I've ever purchased. I think it's no lie that one of my favorite all-time ships is the N1 Starfighter. So that is what we're gonna be building today. So this N1 Starfighter includes particular minifigures, the Mandalorian, but the Mandalorian with its dark saber, Grogu, who I can't remember if I had him in the Razor Crest build that we did after season two, and then Belly, or Belly Motto, who's basically Motto, and then the BD droid from Fallen Order, I assume it's from Fallen Order. But this said, when I saw it, I knew I had to do it, but I'd been waiting for a particular time for this to happen. And last time, when I did the Razor Crest, the Mandalorian, that's when it's fresh off when the season finished. And I was straight in sort of Star Wars blues because it had finished and then it continued it for me. So that's what I've got at the moment. But through Star Wars Celebration and the ending of The Mandalorian, I'm certainly in Star Wars blues mode at the moment. So I need to continue this. I need to keep it going. So I thought today we're going to be doing a nice relaxing Lego build for you to fall asleep to enjoy and no doubt as well. All of these uploads will be in the playlist which I'll put in the description below all of the Lego builds. So if you probably want a 24 hour Lego ASMR build bonanza then you can find that one there. And all other ASMR videos are of course in uploaded on mp3 as well if you purely just wanted it to listen to it and that's on spotify apple music and soundcloud all in the description and i might as well plug my other channel if you're looking for mandalorian reactions then that's come and universe also in the description but you know that already okay this we're just going straight onto the box looks freaking amazing the fact that this is on tatooine nothing would like to beat this episode and this moment when mando got his new ship i'll never forget that moment when the razor crest got destroyed i think it was moff gideon and then leaving the mandalorian shipless so this was literally the best idea to give him the N1 Starfighter and have it heavily modified as well. And this is going to be an interesting build. One thing I noticed immediately is the yellow bolts in there, harkening back to the pure yellow masterpiece and with the chrome on the front as well. So I hope that gets uploaded in the future. But this, something I can see, it got a lot of small detailed parts everywhere. You know me with the small bit, so I think this is going to be a complicated, a semi complicated build. So there should be lots of fiddly bits in there, lots of clicky bits for us to enjoy and get some triggers from. But yeah, it all looks amazing. The engines, the engines here, Dingerin with the might I had, the dark saber, which I've never had got before. Grogu looks freaking amazing. We're just gonna call it water. And the Detroit, it all looks so cool. Set on Tatooine as well. Yeah, this is gonna be a good fun build. But we're just admiring the box. Even 
this box looks so good it excites me greatly purely because we're turning to the roots of one of my first ever lego sets and that was the n1 starfighter and in my mind's eye it was just like the ship but looking back at the sets to how they used to look it looked nothing like this it was very basic to say the least but this is keeping in touch with that classic design i mean the engines gosh they look so amazing even with the points at the end all of the main parts of the ship like i used to love the chrome on the actual design but this ship just looks superb Grogu in the astromech section Mandalorian Din and this horse I mean it's all a perfect set and I've been looking forward to do this one for ages but yeah in the box like we said we've got Din Grogu Bel is it Belly or Bel Belly Motto who I assume is another name for Watto and BD Droid which I think is from Jedi Fallen Order a game I've never played before but this set looks absolutely amazing one thing I wish that Lego did was like sell the background for the set so wherever or whatever they did to take a picture on this unless it's done on the computer mind you but it'd be really cool to buy the sand make your own backgrounds for it to land on so it looks like it's in the real thing that would just be so awesome because this looks so good but we're not here just to marvel at how amazing this thing looks we're here to build it fall asleep to it relax to it and enjoy the lego set you know the drill this is what we do we do asmr well on this this series anyway we do asmr we build lego we nerd out we fall asleep we relax we have a great time repeat all of the lego playlists will be the videos will be in a playlist and i'll put that in the description below so every single lego build we've done so far we've done quite a lot i mean mainly star wars ones but of course that's obvious okay so din with the dark saber which i'm pretty sure i didn't get that with the razor crest grogu looks amazing was there grogu in the razor crest i sure hope there was a bd droid and belly well <laughs> But even the tiny details like the engine at the front there, gosh, it looks so good. But let's stop marveling at this and start to build. mid 2023 and yeah i don't know 
it's changed in price, but I think what you get for a ship, I seem to remember that I think my all-time favorite build was the Lego X-Wing. It's always a Lego ships, but the Lego X-Wing was my favorite, and it was it has all the similar things, you know, pointy things, <laughs> as Star Wars spaceships do. But that said, I think was about 70 pounds, maybe 80, maybe 90, but it was in that region and I think it was 100% worth it. So this, I feel like what I'm seeing so far, stickers with these hands. Right. I think for variety, one of the things I'll always do, I have the instruction manual right next to the blue light. So grey and black pieces just look the same. So today, yes, we've got the orange piece so good and it shows you how to remove the pieces as well and it's got an extra bit on there too so that's pretty cool for me Is this so a bit of Mandalorian is in every single bag for some reason? Oh, that looks so good. Nice to be back in Din's hands. Right. 
we're not going to do the Mandalorian stuff in here. That's all on my other channel, Skyman Universe. Right. Din, jetpack on. Helmet. Dark Saber. In hand. There's just too many pieces now. <laughs> this is the way. Let's build some Lego and fall asleep. Let's do it. So we're just going to pop you there, Din. And uh, you can oversee the building of your ship. When we first begin, it's a very exciting time for me. Like, it's... I just know that I'm going to fall straight into that sleepy build state, which I love so much. But then, I know as soon as that happens, the mistakes come, so let's try not to have any of those today, Fred. And let's... Have a great build. Okay, so we're going to be looking for the fact that it's already darting between different backs. is not a good sign, but I don't mind the fiddly bits. For sound purposes. Okay. One of the things I'm going to be interested to see is the level of internal detail because I do remember building my N1 Starfighter when I was a kid. And that thing, I, I just, I could build Lego so quickly. I think the quickest one I ever made was the Obi Wan Kenobi. Uh, old Ben Luke's land speeder, and I put that together so quick, and I feel like the um, N1. I remember putting that together pretty quickly, and the hours of enjoyment I had trying to create the scenes of it escaping from the Trade Federation ship. That was a lot of fun. Okay, so we are looking for two pieces of this and this together with a red piece on top. pieces one of the things I decided to do for this one is just put the microphone right next to my face almost hello there hello there this one is a bit drunk I find that very strange that it's it's uh, just all of the bags here it's included all of the bags oh dear see that's what this is for. And you have to search through basically four bags to find your necessary bits there for some reason. Okay, that goes on top, that goes in the end like so. And pretty good thus far. So on the back we want the white pieces with the four there. So that's looking good. That goes on the back like that. I don't know why this this build excites me greatly. I think one of the very, very special things with Lego is when you return, when you're older and you return back to a set which you loved so much, when you're a kid, that is something which, I don't know, for me, you can't really beat it. I don't know about you and how long you've been building Lego for, but for me, let's just say, uh, 1990s, <laughs> in there, with the yellow heads and the yellow Qui-Gons, and they were pretty awesome. And you sort of, yeah, you never forget. And why would you? It's like literally the best times when you're building Lego. Okay, we got two on there. And then we're going for the cockpit already, surely not. Surely that's too early. But we must trust, trust the build. Well, we will know what bit that is. Oh, wow. That's so good. So you don't break it with a brittle end bit that's well done Lego. And 
ASMR applause. I applaud that. This is one of the things that you got to watch out with this build and make sure that you press everything in very firmly as if you're going to be flying this one around. You don't want it coming off. Okay.
confusion. Blue light confusion again. going around the Lego shop there appears to be quite a lot of cool sets out at the moment one of them was the Thai bomber and I was very very tempted to go for that one <laughs> instead of this one but I've never had the Thai bomber before I had the Thai fighter I think I might have had the Thai interceptor but I'm talking back when this was when it had the blue parts to it, you know, the look. <laughs> um, so yeah, to have it in its sort of nicest form, it was quite a temptation. But I still have that TIE Fighter which we built ages ago, which was the custom mock build, which I absolutely love so much. I'd want to get it in that style. Because I think it looks so awesome. And I'm tempted still to get another one of those TIE Fighters as well. Because I think that would be pretty, pretty great. But that, then you've got all the sort of um, figures. Like large scale figures. Which you can make out of Lego. And there was a Gorku there as well. Which is pretty cool. I think what I, like I said, probably what I got at the moment is a serious case of Star Wars blues so celebration sort of done and uh, now the Mandalorian is finished and <laughs> yeah it was pretty oh we want a yellow piece on it uh, yeah sort of pretty sad that it's all over like I said, I talk about this all in my other channel, it's got my universe, for all the major Star Wars things. But I was secretly hoping for a Luke Skywalker esque sort of finale. And now I've got Serious Mandalorian Blues, especially from season two. And uh, yeah, I think this is kind of the only way to remedy it, really, <laughs> is to get some Star Wars Lego and. Uh, zone out completely okay we're looking for I probably it's probably the lightsaber bit I think it is <laughs> is it actually no it can't be sorry Din I hope we've, um, we've got the right bit in there for you so we've got these pieces which I've never seen before which I assume is meant to show detail of some sort but yeah different bits Okay, then you go on the bottom, no, on the top, top or bottom, be clear now, on the bottom there, and then on the top we have a tiny, tiny, bits to go on either side there, and then you sit, apparently, nicely on the back there. So you go in there, you go like that. Yeah, very fragile, but somehow looks freaking awesome and great. Yeah, that looks so good. And I just seem to remember having the three, two bits in the engine, the yellow bit, and then just the long, bendy, boingy bit, which you had to be really careful not to bend, especially when you're in flight mode. Okay. So you fit on there. Oh, perfect. That's so good. And it looks...
looks way bigger than expected as well. I don't remember my N1 looking this bigger, this big. Oh no. <laughs> Steady now. Steady now. Why is it all falling apart on me today? side we have two more grills it wouldn't surprise me if this other bit was in another bag oh no we only need one oh it's just on one side <laughs> i see okay we have two of these pieces here one and where would the other one be are you on the other side side still looking for an identical piece not you not you <laughs> looking for a black piece on a black table so we found all your counterparts but we still need the original black piece unless of course it means gray which yeah it's done it again <laughs> the lighting you just can't see anything okay hopefully on camera it's all good but what i'm seeing here is just light <laughs> oh my gosh fred don't do this okay so let's make sure you're very nicely and firmly in there okay let's say this is a <laughs> turning out to be one of the more chaotic One more, 
a two curve. which I've never seen before. Here we've got the grill, so the grill goes here. There we go. That one goes there. And then we have the black piece, not there. That goes on like so. Looking pretty great. Okay, then we need the black piece. And that goes here. And then a single we're going to say dark grey <laughs> to connect it all in place. That's looking good to me. However, it still seems to be coming apart for some reason. No idea why, but this is very worrying. <laughs> that immediately. There she is, almost, kind of, in there, if you want to focus on. There we go. Okay, and then we're building cockpit parts here. So we've got two smooth edges here. see it really. Okay, great one on top there. And 
black number three there I think one thing is that it's not symmetrical so it keeps throwing me off a bit there I like symmetry I like things when they're it's satisfying when they're sort of mirroring each other unison next to each other that's just how my brain works and sometimes I get some ASMR from that just seeing satisfying things it kind of just works for me and uh, yeah this is this is not um, what I was thinking it was going to be like uh, completely different on both sides so it's pretty interesting Build. Okay, there's one more. There we go. You go on that side. And yeah, I probably forgot something. No. And then we want more cockpit parts here at the front on the green section there. And then we have these elusive black parts there. And you have a counter goes in there also then we go for the blue bits in this blue lit area can I see you there's one which looks grey and is there another one there should be one more there you are and that looks great to me as well okay is going to be very good so we've got 10 of these pieces and we're smoothing out this baby this is what i love so much about the lego builds when you get something like this it's just pure lego perfection <laughs> more big pieces in which 
is always welcomed. So we assume immediately that we are making the front. something here. So we've got two of those on the edge there. That's that about that. Right. Okay. That probably makes sense now. So we need to go on the top and on the top there. I mean, one of the things which I'd be a very strong advocate for them actually doing the, the uh, N1 in the yellow is that if they can make chrome pieces at the front, my god, that would look so beautiful. Then I think you'd have to buy about six, five, six, seven, put them all together. That looks so good. Okay, on the end. Completely forgot about the side engines as well. <laughs> Just assume this was the main thing, so it gets even better. Okay. You go on the edge here, but first we have more pieces here. It's looking good. And it is a you go there, yep. Souls, which go next to each other. I think flip farm missiles are cool, but you know, if I was a kid, that's probably dangerous. <laughs> It'd be great for knocking over all the droids, but yeah, I probably uh, got myself in the face plenty of times. Okay. Put you in there, maybe that's not the flip far actually, might not be. You go in there. This just could be small bits of detail, in which case, I love it. And you just go in there, you can do it. There we go. Okay, that's that. And we have two more soft pieces. Yeah, connect it all together. Here yeah, and here. Looking good to me. Right, 
so you literally and we're gonna press it down oh wow that looks so good this thing's a beast honestly I didn't think it was gonna be this big this is so good okay so we need to continue with the detailing right so you go here and you go here our Mandalorian has gone from one side he's on the other side of the book now which is sad I feel like I can just keep building this all night <laughs> always tend to do my Lego builds when it's far too late but you just enter that sleep zone and it's just so yeah it's nice I don't know if I recommend it though but it's, for me it's nice okay we've got these tiny tiny pieces how many of those need two and they go behind to stop them This is going to be the engine. Right. Okay. You go like so. Let's bring you all in. Make it ten times easier for ourselves. Okay. Or not. So we need a flat four piece here. That's a joke because I don't see a flat for. Oh, I've already put it on there, that's why. <laughs> well done, Fred. Well done. Okay, you go on top and then around a the piece. There, then down you go, like so. And then we have this very weird thing. No idea what it is, but. It works. So I assume this is going to be some ingenious engine part. Yeah, I hope they realize that doesn't actually go down. If you put it in the middle of the... Well, we just put it there anyway. And then this goes on top. I made it go down. <laughs> well, okay. Then this goes on there. And then we have this beauty on the top. This is literally the most random part building I've ever done and that goes on there and then this is going on the back underneath wow <laughs> well, that's pretty great like would you oh gosh yeah that's so good I love that the engines exposed to this this as well thing of what I love is because it's something I would never have done and it just looks so cool and awesome Just to 
Christmas to put a sticker on, so let's try. <laughs> Come on, Fred. You can do this. Slightly off, but not too bad. Yeah. And that is meant to go up there. Kind of the control panel is pretty cool. Okay, next up is all these like tiny pieces, which literally I just have no clue. <laughs> where they are, what they do, where they're going, what they're meant to do, rather. But they go in there and then suddenly it works out and it all fits perfectly. Okay, then we have a number three bit on top there. We have black, or the grey binoculars. Okay, then one bit on the end there. single piece in the middle. This is going to be another revelation bit of detail. Whoosh. Let's put you on. There we go. So you're over there. We have this great bit here, which to me looks like it's black. And then we have another sticker. Right, we know what this is. This is the uh, amazing engine. Come on, Fred. Ah, butchered. Oh, that's not level at all. <laughs> that's why we hate stickers. Okay, so underneath that goes. And then this goes. <laughs> this monstrosity goes on top. Plus, I should have done it level in accordance. Yeah, that's why it says put it on first and then put it on there. No, it's not level at all. So that's, yeah, slightly a little bit annoying. <laughs> but still, you clip in on the. And we've got a. Oh. Engine part there. And that's number one bags. I don't know why that was. I assume it's just going to be so quick, but with all those fiddly bits, it took a little bit longer. Christ, we must have. But if we didn't, my gosh, that is freaking cool. Right, so she has a spanner. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the Gorku bits are amazing. Oh, her hair is massive. Right, and then her legs. And where's her spanner thing? she is pretty cool but the coolest for me <laughs> I've never seen a Lego piece like this and the fact that he's rubber as well but yeah I thought that might be a bit far fetched she's so small yeah Grogu looks freaking amazing that's so cool. I love that so much. Okay, and then BD droid. Is that all one piece? Kind of looks like it is. Yeah, well, that's kind of a fur. 
trust. So a complete printed piece. Try again, camera. You can do it. It's right here. Come on. There we go. <laughs> so pretty cool. Right. So we're doing some torpedoes now. I see. Awesome. Guns. So we need two round bits. My goodness, there are a lot of small bits on there. Okay. So that goes in the end. So we have this one and then two. business already I mean seriously just the angle of that is Fred I can tell you're gonna be very excited for this right it's time to make some engines This is making and it makes me very happy that we're making it as well so we've got a brown round bit there that goes on there and it continues around the 
this bit two red pieces that go in here one and two and then brown bit on there the dome goes on the top here That is so good. I love that so much. What an amazing modification. And the cockpit main bit goes on there. Wow. And I could still remember my N1 cockpit. Okay. There's a lot of pieces on there which seem a bit fiddly. No, they're gonna come off. This probably feels more like a model rather than something you want to be flying around. Okay. That piece is familiar, I have no idea, it's like a space one from years, years ago. It's weird how you can still remember. Two single brown pieces, which either side you have these weird bits which I've never ever seen. Okay, but if you say so, they go on there, they sort of stand up somehow. Okay, there, and another one there. And then what do we have? Another weird piece with a piece that goes up. So there's a tiny stud with the hook on it. There. <laughs> and we'll save you for later. And then we have another piece where it connects to it. Okay. Then that goes on that side. So random. <laughs> okay. And then on the top. And then my favorite bit. Part of the details are always the smooth bits. And any smooth bits on Lego is a big bonus for me. Okay, that's looking awesome. This is where the fun begins. So you telling us to build something new there. Okay, so we need eight of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looking good. and this piece which I've never seen before in my life. And that 
sits on top. a brown bit on the end there with two old, old school stormtrooper guns I seem to remember when we were little okay, so those right there and there, I mean these are just cool pieces of detail now nothing more nothing less okay, we have these orange flowers that go on top or next to it This is starting to get a little bit on the fiddly side. Okay, so we've got this bit, and this goes on the side here. So we have one there with a flower on top, if I can actually grab that without destroying everything. And then we have another one of those, and that has a thing at the bottom. side and that goes there and turn it round and then we have a flower that goes here no, that goes on the back and then we have one of those round things which goes here sides of the engine so <laughs> no idea what's going on really okay so you fit on like so or you're meant to or maybe I might put this on here <laughs> I might not actually there we go you might fit you on like so I think we all know how I feel about these small, tiny, tiny bits. <laughs> okay, that goes on the that one. Yeah. some very very interesting building techniques with this that's for sure okay so we need a double piece let's put it on the right side you never know be missing a bag because <laughs> this is meant to be on both sides everything in this build is so delicate like you've got to touch something and it's off it's off on its own adventure okay so you stayed there 
No. Apparently, if you go, let's we'll put this upright. So on the other side, that'll be like that, and then on the top, this goes in like that, and yeah, so perfectly fits in. Yeah, I mean, detail-wise, wise, that's pretty great looking. And then you got that, and that's rubberized as well. So good. So pretty cool. Right, and then let's not get ahead of ourselves there for it. On the back, we have a couple of lightsaber hilts. Yeah, this is basically a model because <laughs> if you were moving this around these pieces, they're coming off for sure. Absolutely, 100%. So it's an interesting, interesting one. Okay, let's put this through the, flip it over like so, and then it's happening, it's going on. We got one on, apparently, turned forward to pieces. And there we go. It's actually amazing as soon as it goes on. It just looks spectacular. This thing is huge. Like it's massive. I didn't think it was going to be like this at all. God, make this like the pure yellow one as well. Maybe I could spray paint it. That looks so good. Okay. And finally. Like some of the peach pieces aren't the same, I swear. Okay, so it's not symmetrical. Yeah, definitely not. But then again, I suppose it's not meant to be if it's made by that belly person, whatever her name is. Okay. Then we've got the middle bit there. That goes in like that. That goes in there sits in the middle like so then we have the flippers no Fred remember it's on the floor okay we have another one of those weird things okay that goes there that goes there side with a thing that goes over so good. Yeah, looking cool. Right. Just in case we haven't given your your right here. Enough love we're gonna do it this side. Okay, one. Five. 
six, seven, eight. Pieces, which is probably on the floor. No, together that goes on the side there. Looking good, and then on this side, on the back, then we have our standard pointy arm bits. side we have the stick thing apparently <laughs> and it was on this side and then this one we have the flower on top I see so red around the right way and then like so if you would like to go in there that would be great and then if we can very gently that in there and connect it without breaking it to pieces. <laughs> I don't think this is a, a Fred fin friendly board, to be honest. <laughs> but we're literally just here for the SMR. Okay, then we turn it around at the front. We have detailed bits. Then the lightsabers at the back. smooth bit somewhere it's meant to go somewhere apparently but yeah so you are meant to go at the front and then you go on there we really are getting to the end here <laughs> it's kind of crazy right so those are on there and then on the bottom here which I think I might have got on the other side and the other one. Yeah, there's one more smooth bit, which looks awesome. Okay, and you can it Yeah, okay, it's happening. It almost feels like we've put this sort of junk ship together, which looks beautiful. Now, just gently, gently. Come on. <laughs> and 
we have it and it's completed wow that's so cool honestly that's it's like it's gone fresh out the mandalorian as well but just going to check everything flick farm missiles go in there right there's still a little bit more to do oh no there isn't i'm confused so right you can store the jetpack in right that's so good and then at the bottom okay so you put your flake fire missile in there and then to fire it is literally the engine at the top and did you even know that mechanism was in there <laughs> that's when you know it's a good lego build that's really good okay and the other flake fire missiles I assume they're just spare. I thought these two would be them for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, they're not. They look so good. And honestly, this whole ship build was pretty. It was completely different to anything we've built before. But it's freaking awesome. It looks so cool. And yeah, hopefully along the way, it's been nice and relaxing and cool. And uh, good to zone out. But, right, let's get rid of that dark saber. You don't have it now anyway. Jetpack. Nah. Let's see if you can go in there without, with your jetpack. No. Okay. We don't want your legs off. Jetpack off. Head back on. Helmet back on. Never remove your helmet ever again. This is the way. Okay, let's put you in there. You're gonna be looking to the side. And then, <laughs> literally, the best part. Okay. That's so cool. And there we have. Mandalorian ship which came from the episode which is literally one of my favourites from the show from the book of Boba Fett I love that with the Mandalorian that was so good and that scene where he gets into this and flies around and he goes around the boon to Eve track that was so good but everything about this the engines, everything looks so cool and we can't end it without going around on our showcase table and just admire this thing in its entirety because it's absolutely beautiful in my humble opinion like the only tiny downside to it is that all the fiddly bits if you hit one off or anything like that well then you better make sure you're looking where you knocked that because you have no idea where that probably came off and where that's flying off to as well but all of the parts in this ship collectively all the tiny bits of detail make this thing look so good the engines i've never made a lego set where you really see all the detail this is what worries me about my millennium falcon one debating to uh, do the biggest asmr lego build that we've done yet that's going to be about 10 hours <laughs> um, but all the details that I've seen here on this starfight on the engines then that's going to be on the Millennium Falcon as well but the minifigures the Mandalorian which we've got already I can't remember if we got a Grogu or not I feel like we did but maybe we didn't but he looks absolutely amazing the cockpit or the modified uh, astromech cockpit which he sits in which is amazing the Mandalorian who looks incredible as well in there and what a woman there as well she is pretty cool and BD droid yeah it's just an amazing set from an amazing episode I'm tempted to say from Mandalorian but of course it was the book of Boba Fett and 
one thing, even with the yellow bits there, it's just a tiny reminder that harkens back to my original N1 Starfighter Lego model, so we say, Lego ship, which I had hours and hours of fun playing with and building with and taking down droids, etc, etc. So yeah, I think overall this it was probably one of my favourite <laughs> ships that came out after it, every angle. It looks so good. If LEGO were to just make the the full, uh, you know, covered version with all its coverings and not exposed engines and its yellow straight from Naboo uh, hangar, ship hangar, then that would be pretty awesome. I'd be more than happy to buy that one as well. Yeah, that'd be so good. I've tried to make this as relaxing as possible for you. Have the mic a little bit closer. Just try and focus a bit more whispering as we build and hopefully it's been just a little bit more sleepy. I know it's been quite a long one, um, but hopefully in, in its entirety it's good. Like I said, I've put it all in a big playlist in the description below for you to enjoy all the Lego ones because you know, we are humble purveyors of Lego builds. We love it as well. We love Lego. I love Star Wars. You may love Star Wars. Um, but yeah, the builds are always a great enjoyment and I get a lot of relaxation doing it with a tiny bit of frustration when I can't find pieces. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. This shit looks so cool. Congratulations, Lego. Hope you like the build. Take care of yourself. Cheerio. This is...